Welcome to my vid.io tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be covering the editor as well as some of the most popular features so that you can get up and running without a lot of the tech headaches. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link in the description. And if you click that, not only can you follow along, but if you haven't gotten started with vid, you can actually use it for free, no card needed, and that's always a cool thing. Let's begin. So once you are logged in and have your account, simply click on the create project button right here. Now for this example, what I'm going to be doing is using an old YouTube video that I have just so I don't have to shoot another one for demonstration purposes. So what you want to do is upload files if you have it. If you want to start by recording, you can simply do that right there. And of course you can always start with AI, but I have a separate tutorial for that in case you want to utilize that feature. Let's simply go here and I'm going to upload my video. All right, so it says James Canzanella's video at the top. Now keep in mind, it is going to upload. The longer the video is, obviously the longer it's going to take to upload, but nevertheless, once that reaches 100 and it is done, I will get right back to you and we will go over the Veed dashboard slash editor to have a good idea about how this works and how you can make your videos fantastic looking. All right, and we are done. It is uploaded. We are good to go. I'm just going to hit play and pause so you can just kind of see that this is going to be like where the video is going to be. This is going to be the bottom section where we can always split it. We can add sections, you know, we could add things to it. So the most important things are mostly going to be the bottom section right here. And we have the left with all of the settings. First and foremost, it wouldn't be a vid.io tutorial without talking about some of the magic tools, which are pretty fantastic if you ask me. Let's click magic tools right here. You notice we can do auto subtitle. There's going to be clean audio. There's going to be removed silences. We have eye contact. So you're always looking at the camera. And unfortunately in this one, I'm pretty sure I'm really set on the camera just about 99% of the time. So if you do have a video where you have wandering eyes and you want to change that around, you can do that. You can remove the background if you need. There's the ability to remove a color from your video for the green screen. Translate voice and magic cut are going to be in beta. But in case you want to utilize any of these, all you have to do is simply click on them. For this example, I am going to do auto subtitle. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to do English. So this is probably going to be recommended as well for the automatic highlighting. Make your subtitles stand out by automatically highlighting parts of your sentences and important words. I think that one's going to be pretty good. Enable speaker detection. That's going to be good. Mostly say if you have multiple people talking, it's just going to be me. And if you just have one person in a video, you'll probably just want to not use that as well, but up to you. Let's click on create subtitles. All right, go grab yourself a snack or continue editing this project. So while that's going to be going on, as you can see, it's going to be taking a little some time here. We did also go over the magic tools and a lot of these are simply just clicking on them. And what's going to happen is it's going to remove the background noise. Once again, I don't think the vacuum was going on in the background or there was like a leaf blower out there, but these are about as simple as clicking on them and utilizing them when it comes to editing your video. That's a really good thing. So this is going to be the settings. Some of the audio things that we just went over are going to be here as well, but here's something really cool I think you're going to like. So if we want to resize this for social media and cut that one second, as you can see, subtitles are going to be there now. <laughs> Back to the social media, I just wanted to show you that. If we click here, right now we have a normal YouTube video, but let's just say I wanted to bring this over to TikTok. What you can do is make it the 9 by 16 as it shows here. You can do fill and crop or you can do fill and center. So right off the bat, if you have YouTube videos and you want to multi-purpose them, we can just throw long form content on other social media platforms, you can certainly do that. And this is going to be how we just go in, duplicate and resize. And then obviously you can save it that way. Pretty cool if you ask me, but I'm going to click off that. Just wanted to showcase that. We have media right here in case we want to upload more files. Once again, you can record. I'm not going to record because I'm already doing that. So kind of get a little messy when there's two things going on, two things recording and so on and so forth. Uh, we do have some AI avatars. Those are going to work well. Say if you're just doing, say if like my AI avatar replaced me, if I'm talking and an AI avatar is talking, everyone's going to be talking. It's going to be a mess. You know, it's all about really just using that when it's going to be solo. So that's something to use if you want to when it comes to using an AI avatar all by itself. OK, so we do have audio in case you want to upload some files. There are going to be some music files that you can utilize that are already here, which is cool. We have sound effects and so on and so forth. Uh, I'm not going to play this in just because I can't hear it. So I'm not sure which one is going to be to my liking. But let's just say we want to use Synthwave memories right here. We can click on the plus button. All right, it's going to be uploading and very quickly, as you saw right here, it's going to be down below and it's only going to be that long. So what we can also do if we don't want it, we can just simply right click on it and delete. 
Pretty simple stuff. That's why having this down here is pretty good. If you add something, you can always delete it. There is also the undo button. Thank you very much for having that Veed. I've used so many software tools and there, every now and then, it doesn't have to be a video editor, could be anything else. And if there isn't an undo button, it's like, no, like how do I undo that? It's, it's just very helpful to have, okay? We have our subtitles right here, which we already have gone over. So you can actually look and see if they're gonna be good. You're like, hey, what's going on? You're affiliate hero. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the truth of solo ads and it isn't always pretty and so on and so forth. We can actually just play it and you can listen to it. So I can't hear it, but you'll be able to. So let me play it, I'll shut up and then we'll go from there. Hey, what's going on? It's James Canzanelli, your affiliate hero. And in today's video, what I'm gonna be talking about is the truth of solo ads. And it isn't always pretty. So, uh, this is some okay, so I think their subtitle is actually fantastic, the way they appear and show up, and also the highlighting is nice. It's very catchy on the eye. Everything isn't just white. You have some other colors mixed in with it, and that's a great thing. So, let's go with our text. Let's say I wanted to move back towards the beginning, like we have a title for this. Now, what we can do here is add a headline title. So, what we can do, we'll just call it, double click here, oops, click once, excuse me the truth about solo ads okay and if you look right here we're gonna have some other styles and options that we can utilize like if we go here for styles like something like this would look great we can make that a little bit bigger too there we go and this is only going to be like say in the beginning right so we can also do our background color if we wanted to change that like make it red make it pop a little bit more or given the fact this is marketing island we can have something a little bit more blue and tropical you know depending on what your brand is obviously if you want to utilize text shadow i think that makes it pop and look fantastic i think that looks really good there okay and you're going to see how if we want to extend this this is going to be the title we probably don't want it to be that long right but oops i think i made it a little bit too long there or too short Great, so what I'm gonna do is just play it so you can see what that looks like with the title there. Hey, what's going on? It's James Canzanelli, your affiliate hero, and in today's video, what I'm gonna be talking about is right. the truth. Perfect, so that's gonna be that there. And of course, once again, say we didn't want this, we can right click on it and delete it. Now there is something else I do wanna show you that, let's see, there's going to be, this is your presentation title. If you ever use something like this, you might be wondering, well, hmm, I just clicked right here. I went to add in text and it's not showing anything. I had this like, I use this once as well. We can also edit our text over here to say, just an example. So you write text in here and you say, whoa, whoa, whoa. I have a black background, I have white text. Why is it not showing up? So you don't have to like ask support for this. It's simply because this type of text is more like a typewriter. So if we hit play, I'll shut up for a second. Truth. There we go, just an example. That's the reason why you're not gonna be able to see it because some of these type in like a typewriter or they come through. So if you happen to use something like that and it's not showing up, that's the reason why. And that's the good thing about it. You can always just test it out down below, play it, see how it looks and so on and so forth. Moving down to elements, of course, there are some emojis that you can use. So like the truth about solo ads, wah, 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 you know, something like that. If you wanna use that, not a huge deal in my opinion, but if you wanna add some spice into your uh, videos, you can do that with some emojis as well sound waves just you know a lot of things that this is simply just kind of like editing in where do you want to put it how long do you want the duration to be and so on and so forth we don't need to do any recording here but if you did these are going to be other options for you like i said i'm already recording so you can do that if you wanted to create a video using your computer right off the bat feel free to do that as well this is more about like once you have the video what you can do with it okay we do have transitions as well now keep in mind these are going to be helpful if you have a lot of different videos like spliced up you can't always like cut specific actions of your video in the first place like using split but let's say we're back in the big beginning here i like dissolve and what we want to do is actually take dissolve and drag it right in near the beginning. And you'll notice we have a black screen now because it's going to dissolve and kind of like, you know, undissolve is, I guess is going to be the word. So let's click on play. Hey, what's going on? Perfect. I think that looks hey, great. It also hides that annoying face. And like, you know, in the beginning before, like you start a video and like, you just like forget to smile or, you know, something like that, or you make a funny face. So I think it's good that it starts off in the beginning. So that's going to be how you have transitions as well. We also have some filters in case you want to change it around. So keep an eye on the video here. And if you look quickly, I'm going to change it. Okay. You'll notice it got a little lighter. Let's do undo and redo. So when you do that, this is a good way to see like the differences between how much calm it is. Here's calm too. And what you can do is just drag this. You'll notice if you drag the bar, it'll change it around a good amount. So once again, we can undo that. 
and we could just do none, you know, keep it as it was. So feel free to use any of these. Some are going to be a little too much like that almost makes it look like VHS quality or, you know, uh, something like this. Feel free to play around with that. This is all like an aesthetics thing. Let's do one more like that way too bright. It's like someone is shining a flashlight on the video, nevertheless, but that's pretty much going to be going through the majority of the dashboard. And I will play a little bit more just so you can see what the subtitles look like. What's going on? It's James Canzanelli, your Affilio Hero, and in today's video, what I'm going to be talking about is the truth of solo ads, and it isn't... Here we go. I'm not sure if that was choppy or anything. I am using a video editor, plus I have my recording up, so if there is, that would probably be the reason for it. Last but not least, what we can do is simply click on Done right here, and we have our quality, which we can always do custom. Obviously, you probably want to change that. Standard, I wouldn't do. HD, I would definitely do. And if you have a much higher plan than me, you can do 4K, but HD is probably going to uh, get the job done here. You can do burn subtitles. So it says include the subtitles in the rendered video instead of a separate file. So really going to be up to you if you want to include that or not. If you want to, simply turn it on. If not, keep it off. Last but not least is going to be export video. And you, my friend, are going to be done. Now, I want to show you one more great feature when it comes to this so you know how to use Veed. So uh, I'm not going to export that just so we can move along with this. I'm going to go back to the dashboard. So I'm going to go here and go to dashboard. Now here's a great one. You might not be familiar with it, but it's going to be create clips. It's in beta. So reason why you might not heard of it. What we can do is take that exact same video and create some more great videos from it. So let's do start with clips. And same thing as before, I'm going to upload that same video that we have right here. So let's go to upload long video. All right, and of course, once again, this is gonna be uploading. When it is done, I will get back to you and it'll pretty much automatically do it for you. Yes, I did say automatically, play on words, right? So uh, one moment, once it's done, I will see you in the future. Okay, and after maybe about a minute or two, what it does is create these clips for you and some like really good hooks right here. So the reality of solo ads and email list, the dark side of solo ads, the deceptive ease of paid advertising. That's a very good hook. The hidden challenges of solo ads, the reality of solo ads, freebie seekers and low conversions. And just as an example, let's see, which one do we wanna do? I think this one right here. Let's see, we wanna go to edit. And one of the main reasons why I showed you the vid video editor previously is because we are now back at square one. You know how to do a lot of these things, but what I'm gonna do is just kind of hit play very quickly and then stop it just so you can see what this looks like. Okay, so for a lot of people, when it comes to getting started with paid advertising, it's probably one of the easiest to actually do and set up and just send money to and be gone with it, right? You don't have to Okay, and that's going to be that. So like I said, we can obviously keep it, change it, whatever we wanna do for it, we can change things around. I'm just gonna hit done here. And obviously that's where we can go and export it. But that was another feature that I just wanted to showcase to you where you can just download it right away and go with it. You can edit it, which is gonna showcase the video editor. And let me do just one more to show you how easy this last feature is. Given the fact this is a V tutorial, I wanna make sure you get the most out of it. Let's go back to dashboard. And what we want to do is create project. And for this one, we are going to start with AI. Okay, I'm just going to do, let's see, skateboarding for beginners. Okay, instead of surfing for beginners, I'm going to generate video. This one is so easy to do. All you have to do is enter like a phrase or a sentence and it's going to create a video for you. It says we are preparing your video, writing a script, recording a voiceover, generating background music and finding stock media to fill the timeline automatically. Once again, this does a lot of the heavy lifting for you with very minimal work. And I am going to finish off on this. So once it is done, 100%, I'll get back to you and we'll cap off this tutorial. All right, and I'm just gonna play this very quickly to give you an idea about what it looks like. All right, so you're thinking about getting into skateboarding, huh? Well, nice little pop shop at there. Fun fact, in eighth grade, I used to skateboard. I fell on my arm, I broke it in half. I don't skateboard anymore, but that should just about do it when it comes to this V.io tutorial. I hope this really helps you out. I don't need to go into this because once again, full circle moment, we are back in the video editor. That's why I started off with that in the beginning because once you know how to utilize that, pretty much just about everything with Veed goes into that video editor. It's really about how you start off, whether you record your own video using your computer, you upload a YouTube video, and then from then on out, obviously, the world is your video oyster or something like that, right? If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If I always can't get back to you, someone else will always be able to, which is always a good thing. And last but not least, if you haven't gotten to test out Veed.io, I will leave my link in the description where you have the ability to try them for free and pretty much follow along with me in 
in this tutorial as we did. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, and I will see you in my next video.